Rick, you, you, you have popularized it and you are very fond of saying that the current does, the, I mean, the, the, the signal doesn't flow on a, on a conductor. That's correct. It is the, because the speed of electrons and all those things and, you know, the drift velocity and all that is That's very, it. very drift small. Drift velocity. Very small. Correct. And the electromagnetic signals which are traveling, your signal is traveling at the rate of roughly about half that of, of speed of the speed of light. of light. And it's traveling in the plastic of the circuit board, not in the copper. Right. So what is the use of copper? Can we eliminate that copper? Oh, no, no it guides the waves. It guides That's the, waves. the secret. I mean, yeah, you could, I mean, look at radio. Right. Radio doesn't have copper lines. Once the antenna broadcasts the fields, no, they travel out through free space. But the problem is they travel in all directions. You know, if you had a circuit board, you could theoretically set up a circuit board with transmitters and receivers right. where you broadcast the fields in all directions and tune and each. receive only a small part right. of it, right. a small strength of it, some someplace else. Exactly, but you tune each receiver to pick up only certain waves. I mean, technically, that could be done. It'd be a hell of a waste. Of Very energy. inefficient. You're, oh, of energy. The waste of energy would be massive. Right, and therefore, the correct way for engineers to think about it, a, a interconnection is that it guides the signal. It's a waveguide. It's a waveguide. Yes. It's a waveguide. Wonderful. I mean, this is very important because oh. most people feel that the, you know, the, your signal is, tra I mean, that is what in common language we say, right. that our signal is traveling all, uh, along the, you know, in the conductor. And it isn't. It, it is not traveling in That's the correct. conductor, but it's traveling around the conductor, yes. guided by the conductor. That's correct. That's the conductor and its return path. Exactly. Because it's the two together that make up the waveguide. Exactly. Yeah. Wonderful. Yep. I mean, that's, that, that's a... And it's really important. I, I remember maybe 10 years back, you know, you were giving a lecture at PCB West, and I was there, and you mentioned that point, and there a lot of guys were wondering what... People, <laughs> some guy said to me two days ago mm -hmm. in one of the presentations I did, after I was done, he came up to me and he said, you said something today that just changed changed my life because you talked about where energy is. I've never known that, and now I understand. <clears throat> and it's, it's if, once you get that concept, suddenly everything makes sense. When I, Ralph Morrison beat it into my head. I loved Ralph. God, what a guy. And he literally, he had to beat it into my head because at first... I mean, I learned in college, like everybody else, that it's about current flow. Right. And I just didn't want to, I mean, I figured every engineer in the world can't be wrong. Ralph must be wrong. <laughs> and, and he kept beating on me until, until he drove it into my head and made me realize, oh, he is right. Oh, so you, yeah, you I was attended in, college at uh, Ralph Morrison? Did what now? I mean, was he one of your teachers? No, 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 no. I knew Ralph personally. Oh, I see. And I met Ralph through Dan Beaker. Okay. okay. Because Dan attended one of my classes over 20 years ago. Right. And he came up to me afterwards and said, you've really changed my thinking about stuff the last couple of days. And he started looking through the books he had on his shelf and saw one from Ralph Morrison and looked at it and thought, wow, this is good. This is good stuff. And he called, and he was trying to find people to speak at a Freescale conference at the time. Right. And he, he asked me to speak, and then he also called Ralph up and said, you know, would you come to this conference and talk? And so Ralph and I and Dan all met at that time. And Ralph, absolutely, and I know Dan would say the same thing. Right. Ralph does, changed yeah. his life, yeah. and he changed my life, I guarantee you. Ralph, I mean, those, those three, four Booklets, I'll call them oh. booklets because they're not thick books. Right. You know, the Ralph was writing thinner books, yeah. you know, not too many pages, but right. the way he explains things oh. in such a common way yeah. is the wonderful. La the last book he wrote before he passed away a few, right. a few years back, he died at age 94. The last book that he wrote is called uh, PCB Design Energy Management, and it is the whole book. I have that. Oh, so do I. <laughs> The, and an, unfortunately, I, I know Ralph would have given me one if I'd asked for it, but I didn't want to do that. I bought it online, and I wanted to get him to sign it, and unfortunately, he passed away before I ever got his signature in it. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had it, boy. But anyway, it's a great book, as you know, because yeah. it explains energy movement. Right. 
perfectly. Perfect. And once I understood where, I wondered why two circuits that had no connection to each other, why would one interfere with the other if there's no copper connecting them? <laughs> and I never understood that because I thought the energy was in the copper. Wrong. And then when Ralph beat it into my head that, that I, well, you're, you're wrong, kid, you know, and I finally listened, my whole life changed. <clears throat> Good. Yeah. That's amazing. So energy is in the air. Energy is in the it's environment. In the, it's in the dielectric. And sometimes the dielectric is air. Pardon my saying so, but it sounds like the, you know, the, the Vedantic school of thought. The which? Yeah, why are you bringing religion into this? But go ahead. No, no. We'll cut I mean, there's part. a philosophy that oh, yes. the, the whole universe or the whole world is full of energy. Yes. Well, it probably is, actually. It, it probably is. Oh. oh, God. Now you've got me thinking. <laughs> <laughs>